Hello Pearls and welcome back to my channel. I'm April, life coach and founder and creator of Lena's Pearls. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We are all about comfort, uplifting, encouraging and empowering each other and dealing with these things in our lives that sometimes you just need a person who's very direct and straight up and can pretty much give you a, a, another aspect of it and find your truth. And that's what it's all about. Today I wanted to talk about infidelities and dealing with being cheated on and someone um, hurting us in this manner. This comes up in a lot of conversations. I myself have dealt with it. You do know my series with my husband, The Truths About Marriage. We will be addressing how we've actually overcome and gotten through infidelity. But I wanted to do a separate video that talks to those of us specifically that you know, have dealt with infidelity and how to actually overcome it. Um, we struggle with it so many times because the point that I wanted to actually address is how we have a tendency to blame ourselves, have a tendency to allow those people. Um, there's like this stigma of, oh, if you were doing so-and-so, it would have never happened. Or if you were taking care of your man, or if you were taking care of your woman. And that honestly is not always the case. And I'm also constantly having talks about the truths about relationships as a whole and taking ownership. So the first thing I wanted to do is, you know, if you're struggling with this, I just wanted to tell you, I know your pain. I've been there. I've done that. I've dealt with it in various situations and current and including my current marriage. And it took a lot. For me to realize what I'm going to actually now teach and, and, and comfort and, and offer you, especially if you're currently dealing with this situation. Number one, infidelity is a choice. Being unfaithful, running around on your husband or wife, your partner that you've committed to, that you're in a long term committed relationship with, that is a personal choice. Let's just get that straight up right now. Let's just let's just let's just call it what it is. OK, it doesn't matter how pretty you are, how frumpy you think you are. If you feel like you've let yourself go or if you feel like you are on point, you're in the gym, you're doing whatever, you're taking care of your health, you're doing all of those things. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are. It does not matter. Um, you know, I mean, look at even Beyonce. Holly Berry, the, you, you, I bet you if you ask any of these superstars, you know, well, first of all, we all know about Lemonade with Beyonce. But anyway, you know, um, no one is exempt from someone choosing to run around and cheat on you and hurt you. That's a choice. That's their personal choice. It has nothing to do with you specifically or something you are or not or are not doing. So let's combat that whole feeling like you didn't do something right or you did something wrong because you can't control. This is the second point. You cannot control another person. You can't control anyone on this earth, but you and your own actions and your own choices of action, period. So nothing you can you did or did not do it at the end of the day. I say that a lot, but it is their personal choice to step out on you, period, period. That's why you have men and women out here who have good wives and husbands at home that you're looking like, what are you doing? Because it's their personal choice to do that. You know what I mean? And it's also their personal choice. And I'll get into that a little bit further. But, you know, if they're making the choice to stay in the relationship and this is their outlet for whatever they feel like they're not getting at home, it still is their choice to do that. It is their choice to use this as their escape and their justification for handling or you know, venting or, or getting out of their system or, or dealing with whatever, you know, they're dealing with at home that they're not dealing with one on one. That's why I'm so big about being present and communication and learning your triggers and all of that, especially with relationships, because, you know, maybe this will help those that choose to do the stepping out instead of using this as their crutch. And there's many reasons why people cheat. It's it's it's, you know, but. To go back to the point I was just making, this could be one of the buffers against that is maybe if you are being communicative and telling your partner what you need and what you desire and what's going on, you know, and getting it out and, 
you know, if they're not doing it, then you could choose to leave, but you don't have to cheat. So to me, you know, going back to the main point is cheating and running around on the person that you've committed your life with, regardless if you married them or cohabitating or whatever the status of the relationship, you know, you're in a committed relationship and, and you've chosen, they choose to do that. You've chosen to step out. That's your choice. You have chosen to do that. You have chosen the action. No one is forcing you to run around on them. So it does not matter the circumstance. Okay. Because it really truly does not matter. And I say that too, to lead into my next point, which is the only responsibility that you can take in any relationship is your responsibility for choosing to not work on any issues that are being presented to you. If they're tired of arguing with you, if they feel like they're, you're, you're nagging and get to the heart of why they consider it nagging, you know, communicate, I'm not nagging. This is exactly what I'm trying to, you know, to express to you. You know, if they've asked you to do a little bit of this or that and they want you to dress, you know, you know, do some spicy things and add a little romance and, you know, express love in certain ways. And, you know, those are the only things that once expressed to you. And if you've had those talks or when you initiate those talks, your only responsibility is taking your ownership of those things to make your relationship better and do those things that are being asked of you. But the ultimate decision for this person to still cheat is theirs. It is still their choice, regardless if you're doing what's being asked of you or not. They're choosing to stay in this relationship with you in spite of not receiving what, because just like they have the choice to run around and cheat, they have the choice to say, I don't want to do this no more. I'm done. So, you know, unfortunately, cheating seems to always be that scapegoat, that, that, that trigger, that, that not necessarily trigger, but it always seems to be the action and the resolve and the justification for what you're not getting at home. And no, the choice is you decided to not handle home and this is what you've chosen to do. But don't use that as an excuse. If you want to go run around, then that's on you. If, and, and that's that is just as black and white as we can make this. Um, if you're being your best self, if you are doing the work, if you are listening, if you are communicating, if you are trying, if you're working on the areas that this person has expressed to you in your life that they would like to have change or see some improvement upon and they cheat, that's still on them. That's still their choice. That is still their choice. <laughs> so it is not your fault. Okay, even if you didn't choose to work on the things that are being asked of you and you aren't communicating and you aren't, you know, for an example, if if you aren't being, you know, um, a little nicer, talking a little nicer or, you know, sharing in the household responsibilities or, you know, getting cute once in a while and wearing the cute, sexy stuff to bed or whatever, or being a little bit more affectionate. I mean, you know, there could be all kind of things, you know, that, that are being asked of you. I'm just, you know, throwing some examples out there, but even the heart of what I'm trying to say is even if you do not make the effort, that is still their choice to step out and cheat. Relationships and commitment is also a choice, just like being unfaithful. So if this person is not receiving the things that, you know, they feel like they, they need from you, then they need to also then decide to make the choice if they want to stay in this relationship with not with you or not. That's what I'm saying. Your only responsibility is you and your actions. You cannot make anybody run around on you. And I'm repeating myself, but let me just bring it all the way home. You don't control anyone but yourself. Right, wrong, indifferent, good or bad. So do not blame yourself and stop looking at what you didn't do. The only thing that you can blame yourself for is anything that you did not work on in your relationship that was expressed to you a desire, period. If they don't want to have the patience and work through and, and invest in and try to get this relationship how they would like for it to be, then and they decide to go cheat, that's still their choice to do so. You only can blame yourself for lack of accountability for not investing in and being your best self and trying to work on your relationship. That's all you can. That is all you can do. And then if you are in a situation where you are either whatever the situation is, either if you're working on it 
If you're not being your best self, if you are being your best self, if you're a sex goddess in the bedroom, if you know, if, if you know, whatever the case is, either way, it's still a choice on both your parts. It's a choice for you to stay and tell them I can't do this no more. And it's a choice for them to stay and or decide I don't want to do this no more too. Relationships and being faithful as well as being unfaithful are choices. Everything is a choice, your own choice. You only control yourself. They control themselves. That's why you have so many relationships where, you know, and I, I was saying this earlier, you have a good looking person, you know, looking and we all are outside looking and you don't know what's going on behind closed doors in these relationships. But I'm going to tell you something right now. When it's all said and done, I don't care what you are or not doing. If somebody decides that they want to run around and do what they want to do, then they're going to do it. And that's their choice to do it. Just like you have a responsibility in a the relationship, they have a responsibility in a relationship too. It's really, you know, I'm trying to shorten these videos, videos up, but this really is straight and to the point. And I did actually write some notes down, but I pretty much covered all of this as far as, because that is the main point that I wanted to make, that relationships are all choices to be faithful and all of that. I'm repeating myself again, but I just really honestly want to help heal somebody with taking ownership all the time about, oh, you know, if I did this, if I didn't do, it does not matter because regardless of what you, they can say, oh, if you did do, they can put blame on you all they want to, but you did not physically go make this person go run around on you and cheat on you and lie to you and deceive you and have whole relationships sometimes and these side pieces and all of this on you. You know, and there really is no excuse. If you if they've chosen to stay in the main relationship with you, then they needed to choose to also then commit and do whatever they needed to do to make the relationship work or leave. So that is pretty much it. This is um, surprisingly I, <laughs> more cut and dry and, and black and white um, than I had anticipated. As always, feel free to open up the comments down below. Please add anything that I did not get a chance to cover and add another aspect to this. I'm always love that and always welcome to the conversation to get started. Don't be afraid to comment because all negative comments will be taken up off this channel, as I've said many times before. <laughs> um, if you would like to schedule a coaching call with me, if you want to, you know, just have some counseling with me, um, please feel free to email me at April at lenaspearls.com. I respond to all emails and I would love to talk with you one on one. Also, I wanted to go over our giveaway. Please like and subscribe, 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 share this with anyone that you know could, you know, benefit from this, somebody that you know that is hurting and needed to just hear this. I just, it was laid on my heart that this was something that someone needed to hear today. So please feel free to share and, and um, like and subscribe. And we're giving away a thousand dollars. So we're trying to get the channel up to a thousand subscribers or more. But our threshold for the giveaway is a thousand. So once we reach a thousand members, subscribers, we're going to choose four subscribers to receive two hundred and fifty dollars. And the thousandth subscriber will get a guaranteed hundred dollars for being our thousand subscriber. So get the work subscribers, bring them on, add them on. Let everybody, you know, get your friends and family to join a fam the, the, the uh, Lena's Pearls family so they can get some money. <laughs> Also, tickets are available now for purchase for our Candlelight and You event that we're having here in Vineland, New Jersey, January 26, 2020. It's grown and sexy. It's $125 per ticket. Email me if you need any additional information for that. Please join the Facebook and Instagram group. Those uh, links will be down below and the information as well should be popping up on your screen because I do announce different things and go live. We just went live the other day explaining the event. And that is it. Thank you so much for enjoying, uh, for joining me today and spending your time with me today. I do appreciate it. Thank you for entrusting me to help guide you through this thing we call life. Until next time, take care and be blessed.